Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Sales IQ. In this video, we will be looking at the Sales IQ widgets and form controllers in detail. Widgets are user interfaces that can be built as a part of Sales IQ's operator chat window to display information related to a visitor's conversation and also to perform certain actions according to the visitor's requirements. The whole purpose of widgets is to help operators by bringing relevant information about the visitor's queries from external applications inside the Sales IQ dashboard and eliminating the need to navigate to other applications. This helps the operators to resolve visitor queries more faster. First, let's look at Sales IQ's built-in widgets. Here, as an operator starts to chat with the visitor, he can view the various widgets to the right of the dashboard with more information about the visitor. The website activity widget will be available by default for all visitors. This will show details of the visitor's activity on your website, such as the time they entered the website, page navigations, page they are currently viewing, etc. Clearbit is a third-party integrated application for profile enrichment and this widget will be available only after integration. You can also integrate Zoho Campaigns, Zoho Desk and Zoho CRM with Sales IQ to enable these widgets. The Zoho Desk widget will provide information about the recent tickets of the visitor and even allows you to convert this chat to a ticket with a single click. The Zoho CRM widget will give information related to CRM such as visitor score, whether the visitor is a lead or a contact, deals in pipeline, and also allows you to add new deals here and this will be reflected in CRM. You can also build custom widgets to suit your business requirements easily using Sales IQ scripts or web hooks. For example, in an e-commerce business, a widget with customer's recent order history will help the operators to track the orders and give instant responses to the visitors. In this case, the customer is asking to cancel the previous order made. The operator can easily locate the last place order and proceed to cancel it as required by the customer. Now, let's look at a few custom form controllers. Here, we have a return request form where the operator can raise a request to return purchased items. You can upgrade or downgrade customer memberships based on their requirements. Similarly, you can build any type of form to suit your business needs. That's all we have for this video. Thank you.